Hey everyone, it's Mike from Giving Desk, and today I wanted to share with you GiveFlag. GiveFlag is a new AI-based tool for business intelligence and deals. Let's dig in. Getting started with GiveFlag is simple. You simply click Try Now and sign up for free. You can use Google or you can create an account manually. Once you enter, there's a quick description on how this whole thing works, and you can click Try It Now or scroll down. Here, you can meet your AI persona team. You have a CSO, a financial analyst, a CTO, an accountant, a CFO, and more. Right now, we're discussing a recent upload that I made. Before you upload, you can try these sample reports that are right below the chat. This was the document that we were talking about. Let's download it by clicking on it. And here we are, BlackRock, Investment and Fiduciary Analysis for Potential Fossil Fuel Divestments. I can click on the link that was generated and examine the flag analysis, where I can learn more about the document, have the AI explain the document to me, or rather specific flags, or have it explained to me like I'm 10. The red flags are things that are of the most concern in the document. The yellow flags are the things that are maybe something we might want to look into a little further. And lastly, the green flags are chances for improvement. If you have glaring errors, those will be in your red flags. If there are no glaring errors, your red flags will simply, like this document, be things that are relatively red flags in comparison to the things that would be yellow or green flags. When you click on these buttons for the first time, the AI takes a bit of time, about one minute, but after the first time, when you share it with others, it doesn't take any time at all. Now, I can easily see this in a simpler way. I can also fix the problems. And there we go, we get a breakdown on how to fix the problem. Again, the second time you click on fix, it loads right up. They can also view the original document by clicking on the original document here at the top of the share link. We call these flag shares. Back to the samples, you can easily click on a sample document, you can download it and you can go through it. So these have already been rendered and so I can quickly get answers. Now moving on up, you can talk to the team about your document. They each have their own individual personalities, which you can learn by clicking on them. You can learn where they're from and some of the books that they read that inform how they view the world. When you click on the chat, whether you're clicking on the chat on mobile or desktop, it enlarges. It already knows that I'm talking about the BlackRock document because that's what we've been talking about previously. It's best practice to always go and copy the name of the document and then paste it up here. So the team chats about it. I can also ask the team about live information, like what's the weather in Dubai today? The current temperature in Dubai is 102 degrees Fahrenheit, 39 Celsius. That is absolutely correct. I guess the big news in today in China is about Codelco and its long-term mined copper deals. Additionally, you can upload CSVs and things like NDA templates or other legal documents to draw insights. To upload, you simply, from the chat, click on the attach button, or you can just scroll down here to the bottom. To upload, you simply select your file, whichever one you would like. I'll go for this earnings report. You click next, and to see the status, you can click here or finish. Red flags are generated first, followed by green flags, with yellow flags taking the longest. It's best practice to stay on the page and wait, and the page will refresh once your documents are ready. Sometimes the larger the document, it can take a bit longer. Most documents that are four to five pages long only take about five minutes, while longer documents can take up to 10 to 12. Once your document uploads, you get this GIF flag. You can reference the file once you see that it has its flag by simply talking to the team about it. The team is strongest when discussing strategy in order to find new ways to enhance business capabilities. That's really the power of the team. It's in the strategy. You can learn more about how to use the tool most effectively by checking out giveflag.com slash docs. Here, you can learn more as the platform evolves. Thanks for watching.